Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 6th of 2020, well it is titled NGC 1672, Barred Spiral Galaxy from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what is called a barred spiral galaxy. And there are two different types of spiral galaxies, what are called the barred spirals and the normal spirals. Although it turns out that the barred spirals may be even more common than the ordinary spirals. And in fact, our own Milky Way galaxy is considered and classified as a barred spiral galaxy. The difference between the two is that the barred spiral has a bar or chunk of stars elongated across the center, whereas a normal spiral galaxy has spiral arms that kind of go right down to the core of the galaxy. Now, when we look at a spiral galaxy of either kind, we see uh, extreme signs of star formation. And those include the bluish color of the spiral arms, which are caused by many millions of blue stars, which make up their um, light. And that is because those stars do not live a very long time, and we know that they must have formed recently. So if a star only lives for, say, 2 million years, then that star must have formed within the last 2 million years, or it would no longer be around. So just the fact that we see them means that there has been star formation within the last few million years or so. And that is compared to other galaxies, uh, we call elliptical galaxies, that have no signs of star formation for many billions of years. So very distinct differences between those types of galaxies. We also see a lot of the pink or hydrogen regions, which are associated also with star formation, in that the pink glow of hydrogen requires ultraviolet radiation to excite the hydrogen gas. And that is given again by these hot blue stars. We see them as blue, but at their temperatures, they actually emit much of their light in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum, meaning that they are energetic enough to be able to uh, excite the hydrogen gas and cause it to glow. Now, the exact reason why some of these galaxies form a bar and others do not is a very good question and things that astronomers are still looking at to try to better understand as to how that works and how the forming of a bar affects things at the central region. And at the central region of this galaxy, like other, most other galaxies, there is a supermassive black hole. And we can tell that from the activity in the, in the center that it is unusually active, meaning that some material is spiraling into that black hole and causing it to give off excess energy. So its central regions are more energetic than we would expect uh, based on the fact that there would be this supermassive black hole there. And we do see these black holes at the center of nearly every galaxy. Uh, some are more active than others, and really it seems to be a dependence on how much material is going into them at the time. So galaxies that are uh, black holes that are being fed would be getting, giving off more energy and would be more energetic. And those that are more quiescent would just be sitting there, not getting any fuel, and would be kind of hitting, hit, hidden, just waiting for their next meal to come, in which case they would then become more energized and become more a more active center. So that was our picture of the day for April the 6th of 2020. It was titled NGC 1672, Barred Spiral Galaxy from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be northerly. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.